So remember that they're changing my voice. Everyone who's my age will know for sure that I'm right. Everyone who's maybe 30 and over will know for sure that I'm right. You see, when I was younger, females would think that they're, they were smart and they had a reputation as a group. You know, no offense to females, but this is just, these are the facts. Okay. I'm authentic and my integrity is sound. And there's people who try to draw that into question because they're crazy, right? You know, they were jocks in high schools, populars. They weren't smart people with a higher cause. They were just kind of groupies, right? Like a like a racist gay saying, who does that, right? So females, you know, quite often had a mentality like Kelly Bundy from, you know, from, I guess it's called the Bundys, the TV show without Bundy, you know, um, like Luann from King of the Hell, like Clueless uh, from the movie Clueless, right? Alicia Silverstone. Quite often they weren't very smart, okay? And if you look at um, the various actresses in the movies, there's none of them who are really presenting a very sharp female with a high moral standard, with careful perception. That doesn't occur. And keep in mind that RNA expression is key here. Now, I don't have any sisters. And if I did, they would be sharp. They'd be on point between my parents raising them and me being their brother. I'd make sure that they use their head, you know. And we don't see that with the females in society. And it testifies against guys. It testifies against females um, to the extreme. Again, no offense to anyone. This just has to be said. So when we look at the martial art challenge, we already know that other people aren't cut from the same cloth as I am. Okay? They just don't have a chance. Right? You know, Sugar Ray in his prime, um, Sugar Ray Robinson wouldn't have a chance. Okay? Mayweather, no way. No, no way. Okay? It's just obvious. I'm faster. I'm smarter. Okay, I have the highest cause where they don't have the, the brain capacity to not conform. So when we look at, you know, the challengers um, in the videos that were posted. Okay, so we had maybe, uh, I think that, you know, one person was, you know, they considered themselves a challenger. And I said, okay, I agree. This one female that came in later. And, you know, it was basically the main people I consider challengers are all males, right? But there's two females that are added to the list during the course of the challenge. Okay. So the first challenger, and I've told this story many times, but I figure I'm going to have a, an official place where I can know where I can find it in my story. Um, it was this guy. Um, it's it's like, I don't know what race he is, but he, it's like he's a Jew. But it's where the Jews and the Italians and the Hispanic people, they, they seem very similar, right? And uh, when I first came across him, you know, I met him through this uh, one female um who I uh, met on the internet and um, she was very attractive, what have you. It didn't work out. That's fine, you know. And he had an American flag and he seemed like a military-ish type of person, right? So we, we, you know, I went to the park. I was waiting for him. Um, I had been fumed heavily that day. I wasn't kind of myself, right? You know, when I did my normal morning workout, instead of kind of getting all swole up and getting very athletic shaped after I did it, you know, kind of a mild workout, Nothing seemed to happen. I feel I, I felt more sickly. I looked skinny. I was like, what the heck's going on here, right? So they must have been doing something funny with the poisons and the technology and the fumes, right? And But I was determined to go and win this match because I had to kind of start getting wins. You know, this was the first match, so I had to start getting wins on the record, okay? It was the first challenger. And I had to make sure I won every match and so on and so forth and by a good bit, Okay to make it clear to everyone that I'm the best, even through sabotage. Now, I'd been, you know, covertly drugged. They had me on psych meds briefly. I mean, I've been heavily drugged since before the challenge, but by December 20th, uh, 2013, I made the challenge, and, and incidentally, um, that's coming up in 12 days, the 10-year anniversary. It's because today's uh, December 8th, uh, 2023. Okay, so this, this, this guy... Um, when he first, he first touches down, there's like two car loads of people. Well, well, that's how it comes off. There's really only four of them, but it comes off like two car loads because there are two vehicles. And I'm like, wow, you know, what's going on here? And I'm, I, and it, it doesn't even cross my mind that it's the challenger. So I'm sitting there waiting. It's been a while. It's like half an hour or so. And the, and the female, I was talking to her on the internet, and she said, you know, he'll be there any moment. Yeah, yeah, he's just, she's, uh, he's her cousin and so on and so forth. So I'm waiting, right? And then, you know, it's like a car and a truck pulls up, and then... um or something like that, and they start saying something that sounds like taxi. And I'm like, what the heck are they talking about? I said taxi, right? And what they were saying, they were saying Jackson, 
and that was one of my uh, my names on one of my channels, right? I had James Jackson, Sid Jackson. So I said, taxi, right? I'm like, what the heck? So, you know, I think I say, I hear him say, I guess he's not here or something. At that point, I'm thinking, Man, maybe that is the person, but I didn't, right? for some reason, I didn't believe it. So they kind of split up, and it was almost like they're trying to ambush me, right? And that's probably part of the psyop, right? Because, you know, one of them's coming one way and he's like stretching his arms and the other one comes up and then I'm still sitting on the bench over there and they're like, are you Jackson? And I was like, huh? Um, that's not my name, but uh, why are you looking for him? Because I'm, I'm starting to put you say, oh, and then we eventually figured out, say, okay, so I'm the, I'm the guy. I don't remember what was exactly said after that, but I said, okay, I'm the guy, okay. So there's four of them, right? There's like one looks like a, 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 a Sereno, an older Sereno. There's... um. A white gay looking guy, maybe he's part white and part Hispanic, very gay looking. And, he, you know, he was probably the nicest of them. Then there was the challenger. He was kind of, you know, a shorter, very, a stronger guy. And then there was um, uh, a black guy, right, with like um, a reggae like a hat or something. And so basically uh, I made a deal with the black guy to, to hold the camera, right, because I said, who wants to hold the camera? I'll pay whoever does. And for whatever reason, they chose him, right? Or, or I don't remember exactly how that went down, but you know, it was it was up for grabs, and and they decided on him, right? So he's holding the camera, and he decides to stand far off, right? Because he's like, where should I stand? I'm like, oh, it kind of doesn't matter as long as you have, you know. And that was kind of shady, right? Because they didn't want it to be defended. They want to be able to contest it later on. So this is like a military operation or whatever, right? And so, um, you know, on their part, okay, you know, I'm there by myself, and. So, you know, when it starts, one thing was obviously wrong because I was in my, I had my socks on, right? And I put on the gear, I had full gear on where he had shoes and he didn't put on the uh, leg um, protection, right? I think he did put on the, 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 the dick cup, if you will, right? It's the cup, right? Whatever you want to call it. Well, I'm running out of time. I want to go through the other challenges too. To make a long story short, he's firing away super hard and he, you know, doesn't want to stop what, after I score. And that was probably the most uncomfortable of the matches. But, you know, there's various scores, but they're all, you know, basically, he maybe scored one point, right? And depending on how you de how you describe it, right? And that was when he grabbed my arm and then and then struck me with the uh, the other arm. Okay, so one one score is 10-1, there's other scores 11-1, there's, there's other scores involved in that. Okay, so that was that, right? So, the next challenger, um, I believe that was the tall black guy, right? Or no. Or, 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 okay, so there's two tall black guys, right? One is my brother, older brother, right? And he's, you know, he, he might very well have the most martial art training of all the challengers. And one is this tall black guy I met on the internet, right? He's like an inch taller than me. Okay, that guy beat 10-0, okay? And that, that, that made it clear that it's not just because I'm tall, right? And then my older brother, who's like, you know, a couple inches shorter than me, but he's still like 6'1 or something, 6'2, okay? I beat him and there's various scores and that has to do with, you know, the confusion of it, right? He was supposed to raise his, you know, he raised his hand like at times when he wasn't supposed to. He's only supposed to raise his hand when he scored a point and he started acting shady. Like he looked like he was under mind control at the time, but one way or another, no matter how you slice it, it was either like 12-2 or 10-1 or something like this, right? Okay. And then, um, there, the, the last challenger, um, was this another guy who looked like the first challenger, right? I don't know either of these guys. They, they just kind of come up on me. And again, there's four people, right? There's uh, a kind of Hispanic slash Native American looking guy. There's a big black guy. And so, you know, I have it on the video and so on and so forth, all these guys. Um, there's the challenger. And there's, uh, huh. There's one more guy. I can't remember what he looked like, right? Maybe it was only three guys. I could have sworn I remember his four. Maybe, maybe, you know. Well, anyway, so I ended up beating that guy, right? You know flawlessly and so on and so forth it was actually there was actually three matches kind of and i beat all him on all three and then he deleted the first two off the phone okay and the one the only one where he okay wasn't okay the only okay he kind of scored when he like got touched my cheek with one finger right and that, that was the one um that was uploaded that's strangely enough right so that was that okay and then there was the two females and so on and so forth and so that that that's the story of these challengers right and the, every the whole time i'm being covertly drugged covertly fumed so on and so forth for you know all day every day kind of thing and it's reducing my ability to kind of come into form and i'm i'm sure that you know a lot of people who work with these people have admitted to me that yes that's what happened and so on and so forth and that it, it didn't work in their favor and i won and so on and so forth 
Also, they edited my video covertly to make it so I look weird and other things. 